Hello there guys, welcome back to a new video. Inside today's video, it is another panic news video. And there's a little bit of guesty news near the end. And maybe a little surprise near the end. Uh, but yeah, so to the inside today's video, they sort of revealed a... I guess a panic trailer. That's what I'm gonna call it. Well, two actually. It's like a little mini one. Then there's like the full length one, which is like 30 seconds long. The one that you can see right here. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into this. So let me show you this trailer real quick. The only thing that uh, so this is posted by Kyle, by the way. Uh, the only uh, caption that he really gave to this was, "Did you find everything okay today?" With a little smiley face kind of scared of that little smiley face it's a little bit more scarier uh than i thought it would be uh but yeah let's watch this trailer all right so i've already seen this trailer but i'm gonna try to point out i'm gonna let like, like i guess i'm gonna let you guys watch this and i'm just gonna like point out some details that you may have missed while watching it you can go back if you want to but i'm gonna try to point out all of them but yeah here it goes there's like a little uh, note i guess so this definitely takes place inside of a grocery store. And then there's like the little vet developers uh, to near the left. Uh, and then uh, if you look to the very right, a little happy robot is going to pop up. Yep, right there. So that robot, now we know, is named Happy, actually. So let me go back to that note real quick. Alright, so let me read what this note says. It says, this store is monitored by Happy the Robot. That is the name for the panic robot. That's what we've been calling him. Or the Sporky, I guess. So, he has an official name. Happy the Robot. Uh, but yeah, it says, this store is monitored by Happy the Robot for your safety. Happy is an aut autonomous robot who is who uses ra radar technology to keep the floors clean and improve your shopping experience. So yeah, I so now we know that he's also a robot, I guess. Uh, he uses radar technology, meaning... So I think this might have some, like, gameplay stuff to do with it. Maybe, like, like if you're far away, he won't be able to see you. Uh, you may be able to, like, crouch or something while you're far away. But if you get, like, sort of, like, near him, he'll probably come at you. I'm not really sure, but the radar technology thing could have a hint for gameplay. Like, I guess gameplay-wise, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but we do know that he's sort of like a vacuum, as it says, he keeps the floors clean and improves your shopping experience. So, we know that somebody made this robot, I believe. So, they made it to clean the floors. It ha must have malfunctioned or it must have gotten some type of virus. Maybe some type of chip is inside of it. Or maybe it just went haywire randomly. Or maybe there's some uh, little kids that were killed and then their spears went inside. I like the bot. I don't know. Uh, some type of Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. But yeah, let's get into some more news with the second trailer. Okay, I forgot about this, but before we move to the, like, the little second mini trailer, I'm going to show you guys the developers that are in the corner. So, I believe it showed Kyle. Rest assured, he should not be able to escape, sir. The portal technology is operational. He, that's, like, the ones that you can mostly see. Let me see if it, if I can get it to show again. So it goes off of the note, and then you see some, uh, some of the developers. Yeah, so, I see Nahid, and then I think Big B. Uh, and then, uh, Kyle way in the back. It almost looks like Kyle has, like, a little headless head or something. Or maybe that's just the way that it looks. I don't know. I don't know if he changed his avatar or not, but it looks, a d it does look a bit different inside of this game. I don't know, though. Uh, but yeah, also, uh, I'm going to, like, let me find where the little thing is at. But there's, uh, that little baby robot. The little baby happy. There we go. That's a good look at him. So... I don't know if this little baby happy is like a pet or something, and maybe it's just like a little mini vacuum. But what if this guy like transformed into like the big happy the robot that we know, the one that looks kind of freaky, the one that's supposed to be like the villain of this game, the antagonist. Uh, but I'm not really sure. It looks really cute. I I stand baby happy. Baby happy is my baby. Uh, I'm I'm now baby happy's father. Uh canonically uh but i'm just kidding uh but yeah th i really like this little guy i really hope that we get some type of pets in this game uh i also a uh, little suggestion but i would love to see pets come to guest you maybe if we could get this little baby happy as a pet i don't know uh but yeah i actually really like this little guy he looks really really cute uh but yeah he he's i think he I, so i'm pretty sure it's an ai because it's, it has it does like a little weird ai turn right there if you could see that yeah right there it does like a little turn uh but yeah it looks to me that's some type of bot or something. It doesn't look like a player's controlling that, but I'm not really sure. 
Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the second mini trailer. Alrighty, here's like the second mini trailer, so like, I guess like a teaser, sort of. Uh, but this was released yesterday, uh, so the only caption he gives is what he always puts a little smiley face, but this, this caption actually reveals something. So he says, thank you for shopping at Wobmart. I think that's how you say that. Uh, it's supposed to be like a, I guess like a, a mock of a Walmart. Uh, I kind of like Walmart, so that that well, now we know that it's like the company or the store that uh, Happy the Robot is going to be a part of, or like I guess the I don't know if they're gonna have chapters inside this game. They might just have like maps. Uh, people like they said it's gonna have really really unique gameplay, uh, but I I would really love to see with like banana eats where there's like multiple maps, but I also want a story in this game. So, but yeah, I, this looks really sick. Now let me get this trailer up for you guys. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, so th this teaser is kind of freaky. It's a lot scarier than the other one. Uh, but yeah, so the only thing I really like notice inside of this one is like from far, I cannot tell what that says. Uh, but there's like some signs at the top, like sort of like I guess like what Walmart would have. So this place is pretty. Looks like an average grocery store, or like Walmart, Target, or something like that. Uh, but it looks like it, it's kind of, sort of weird where this got like cupcakes out on the shelves or something. Wouldn't those be inside like a refrigerator or something? Uh, but yeah, maybe this store is some type of like messed up store. Like the owners are bad or something. I mean, if there's a robot, that, like if there's a Happy the Robot who looks to be killing people and sucking them up inside of his little vacuum things. Uh, yeah, it seems like the owners aren't doing too good, but I'm not really sure. Alrighty, so this is a tweet that Nahid posted yesterday, too, with that little teaser. Uh, he said, it's 3 a.m., this appears in your room, next move. Uh, I would probably start running, uh, because th this guy looks pretty freaky, he looks kind of scary. Uh, but maybe this is what uh, Happy the Robot looks like whenever he goes haywire, because the original Panic, or like, the original Happy does not look like this. He actually looks kind of happy. Uh, but yeah, this one looks kind of freaky. It's, uh, eyes look kind of, hold on, let me get an image of the old pan, uh, the old Happy. Okay, so this is the image that we first got for, uh, Panic, but Happy looks a lot different inside of this image, so let me just compare real quick. So, the, the mouth is definitely different. He's got some little, uh, horror movie-like teeth right here, like a freaking bear or something. Uh, his eyes look about the same. Yeah, they look about the same. They got a little glint to it right there. Uh... And then, but the color of, like, the little, like, the little blue thing on his head, that little light, it looks a lot different, and on the side, it also looks pretty different, so it's turned red, so I'm guessing this is what he looks like whenever he goes haywire, if, like, you get inside of his, like, little radar detection thing, uh, but yeah, I, I, maybe it'll have, like, a little, like, bubble around him that'll show where that little radar is at, or, like, where he'll be, where he'll be able to kill you, but I'm not really sure. I was just going to show you guys this image just to get a better look at this uh, Haywire uh, Happy the Robot. Alright, so this is uh, Kyle replying to reply a reply on a tweet that he said about two days ago, which was pretty much uh, like asking about the theories and stuff about the game and stuff. Uh, but yeah, th this is what, uh, I guess, uh, his name is Hiluk said. He said, Guesty is getting abandoned with like a little, I think, is that the pensive face? No, that's not the pensive face. I cannot remember what that uh, emoji's called. Oh, the weary face. Kind of a sus face. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, he said, Guesty's getting abandoned. And then uh, Kyle said, no, smiley face. Uh, I, I agree with his smiley face, but it's kind of scary, and I'm really glad that he said no to this, but th this is sort of some uh, uh, guesty news, I guess, a little bit, but this is kind of freaky. The smile is always freaky coming from Kyle. I don't know why. And then here's a reply uh, to a tweet that, or like a, to a uh, tweet that Nahid said uh, that I just showed you, which was the uh, Haywire, uh, Happy the Robot. Uh, but this guy named... Uh, Gordillo, I think he's how you say it. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he said, Need, I was wondering when Chapter 10 released, since it's been, like, dot month since, uh, chap Chapter 9 released. No pressure, just wondering, since I lava your game, I think he meant to say love your game, but he said lava. Uh, I will make an announcement about this soon. So uh, that, that means that we'll get an announcement on Chapter 10 very, very soon. 
Alrighty, now for the guesty news part of this video. So here is this is what Nahid said inside of the uh, NK Discord server. Uh, actually, I, I think this was a few days ago, I believe. I don't. I, it, I just took a screenshot of this one at the first day that I saw it. But he said, "Hello, NK. We are doing a huge guesty cosmetic update soon. While we focus on panic, in the next month could possibly entail Chapter X, which is Chapter Ten." So, I am very, very excited to see this. I am super excited for Guesty Chapter 10. And they're calling it Guesty Chapter X. So, it kind of reminds me of a Fortnite Season X. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe like some type of futuristic treasure. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he said, uh, well, you'll have to wait and find out. Maybe the X is foreshadowing something like I hinted at. Uh, but he said, travesty, treasure, or perhaps something more. So... Probably sure. Maybe someone dies inside. That. I think that's what he meant by travesty, like some like an X, like someone died, or then treasure, like X marks the spot, which would be very cool. I would love to see an island map at some point. Uh, I don't know why. I just love that like tropical feel. Uh, and it, or he also said, or perhaps something more. Maybe this would be some type of futuristic uh, map, or maybe I'm just thinking of too much about Fortnite or something. Uh, but yeah. He also said crate and bundles, perhaps some other stuff. And then uh, talks, my friend talks, the legend, which I'm actually about to say something about him in just a second. Uh, he said crate time, and then uh, uh, Nahid replied with, "I'll have to see." So very cool. And then this is the big part right here: Pog and Talk skin. So if you don't know who Pog is, the legend, he made the uh, SMG. Uh, the mod, the model for the SMG that came with the uh, Squid Game set, I believe, which was a sick model, by the way. And I, he's also working on Panic. He's a contributor. Oh my gosh, I keep on saying contributor, contributor to uh, Panic. But yeah, and then Tox, he is a legendary YouTuber. You should watch him. He makes amazing content, really high quality too, and makes him at a really fast pace. Uh, love his videos. Shout out to him. And I'm really, really glad that he's getting a skin. And I believe he's also getting a special version. Uh, which I am very, very excited to see. So, Tox, I'm super excited to see your skin. Pog, I'm super ex excited to see your skins. I think both of these guys have headless heads. So, I cannot wait to see how this is going to look. Uh, th these skins are going to look sick. Alright, I'm about to move back to Twitter because I just saw something inside of one of Kyle's replies. Uh, but here's just another, like, a, I guess, like, a lighter image of that little, like, uh, freaky, uh, part from the teaser where, uh, Happy goes haywire, he, like, starts teleporting and stuff. Let's move back to Twitter real quick. Alright, so Kyle actually replied to talks yesterday. I did not see this, but uh, the fir this started with whenever he was asking about like theories and stuff, and Tox said, I firmly believe it's going to be similar to Banana Eats. I bet 100 Robux on that. Uh, and that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's, it has to be somewhat sim similar to Banana Eats or Flee the Facility. I would love to see that. Uh, and then Kyle asked, in what ways? Thinking emoji. Uh, and then Tox said, three lives, something around the map, to lower time. The rounds aren't chapter-based, independent Dependent on how long it takes you to escape the round length is fixed, and you have to survive the whole duration just to name a few aspects. Uh, with the uh, smile, what well, <laughs> what does Twitter name it like this? Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Uh, but Kyle replied, "You are correct about two things here, but I won't tell you which." Smiley face, Kyle, you're starting to scare me with this smiley face, bro. Are you okay? Is someone like kidnapping you? Is someone like putting a gun to your head? Keep you it the smiley face. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm really excited to see it. So it's either the three lives part, which I'm not really thinking it's the three lives part, because I'm guessing he probably would have revealed it or something. Uh, something around the map to lower time. This could be one right here. I'd love to see that. Uh, and then he said the rounds, the rounds aren't chapter based and dependent on how long it takes you to escape the round length. So I'm guessing it is this one right here, but and then uh, this one right here, I, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Uh, Leave me uh, some like suggestions on what you think it is inside the comments. But I, I love any of these. I, I'm really excited for this game. I cannot wait to see what they do with this. I think this game is going to be better than Guesty just because of how much work that they've put into this game. They said that they actually started it in December of last year. So that is pretty insane. They've been working on this for oh, almost over eight months. So that it's it's really insane. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. God bless you guys. I cannot wait for this game. It looks so good. Uh, but yeah, you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Love you all. <laughs>